The niggas, my niggas, them catching on with the streaming game. Shit, we ain't finna get left behind. Yeah, my niggas, them catching on with the streaming game, man. We ain't finna get left behind, Jack. Yeah, no, no yeah. way, no, no way are we finna get left behind with the streaming, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we getting all the game, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we rocking that Jackson State. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. HBCU, yeah. HBCU, HBCU merch, man. You see? HBCU, HBCU merch, man. You see? Man, you see? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, you see it? I promise, I promise, I'm gonna do it. Hey, so, so we got a, we got a, we got quite a few people looking in right now. We do? Yeah, so, so, I want to, I want to start asking some of these questions that they, that they, that they typing down. All right, go and ask. So, the first question, they really want to know how you feel about Cat Williams and his rank. On Club Shay Shay. Now, I ain't gonna say rank on his exposing of the truth on Club Shay Shay. Oh, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Yeah, I haven't watched it. Oh, I ain't got time. And yeah, I ain't finna sit down and watch now, nigga, for three hours. At all. In oh, three yeah, hours. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't nothing that interesting about on the television, a video, or a screen that's gonna get me to sit and look at a nigga talking for three hours. I, I ain't watched it. And I ain't gonna watch it. Ice Cube came on that motherfucker and said he telling the truth though. Oh, uh, a nigga, lot of uh, folks say he telling the truth. Uh, you know him? Do you do uh, you look at him as a person that's uh, true? Well, well, listen, I haven't seen it, but because nigga, uh, Cat Williams just came out the closet. Cat Williams just came out of nowhere and 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 and, and, and did a three hour interview. Uh, nigga, I'm so busy watching me. I ain't got time to look at no another nigga for three hours. I got a three hour interview that I gotta keep going back and peek at and seeing the, what the analytical data doing on that. Nigga, I'm right. engaging the comments because right. I got an audience. So so nigga, I I'm so caught up into Charleston White and Charleston White videos. Nigga, I ain't got time to go watch what Cat Williams and and, 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 and Shay Shay talking about. Yeah, right. Other, y'all got time, nigga. I ain't got that time, right. nigga. I'm, nigga, I'm, nigga. I got hoes I'm fucking with. I'm in the strip club. I got the, I'm missing this flight, nigga. I ain't got time to go sit and watch no nigga for three hours and then listen to no nigga, nigga. I was always told hoes want to hear it and niggas want to see it, so I don't want to hear nothing no nigga got to say. Right. And I respect Cat to the fullest. I love him, but my nigga, I'm not finna sit down and go listen to no nigga story. Everybody who on here saying y'all want to work with him. In Atlanta, he he with working in Atlanta. Just DM me, and we gonna put it together. DM me, we gonna put it together the oh, real way. You gotta so, be real way. So 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 I'm a I'm a real narcissist. I'm a I'm a real life motherfucking narcissist, nigga. I'm so into me. So most people don't know the story of the narcissist is, homie. He had never saw his reflection before, and he was so handsome and he was so pretty. When he leaned over into the water and saw his reflection, nigga, he fell in love with himself and dove in and killed himself trying to keep trying himself. Mm. Nigga, I'm going to die in the meat. I ain't got time to watch. I don't watch football. I don't watch a whole basketball game. I don't watch a whole boxing nigga event. I don't watch nothing whole but me. So, nigga, I ain't, my mind don't allow me. Uh, I got ADHD when it comes to sitting down watching what another man doing and what another man saying. Uh, uh, I, I got to when I'm watching a movie, uh, I don't like new movies because I like to know what the movie is about. Mm. What's going to happen in the movie? I don't want to jump in the movie. Uh, if, if me and you watching a movie and you seen the movie 
And I say, hey, man, you what about to happen? Watch. No, I'm going to ask you. Oh. I want you to tell me what's going to happen throughout the movie. Hey, nigga, what's about to happen? And I'm going to get mad and offended if you don't tell me. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be secretly, nigga, mad in the motherfucker because you won't tell me the movie. No, nah, man, I ain't going to tell you. You need to watch it. I'm going to quit watching it. Because, nigga, because, I, because, because, because I'm a narcissist, right? Uh, I like to be in control. Mm. And, and, and part of being in control is knowing. Knowing what's, what, knowing what's good. Yeah. Knowing yeah. What's going so, on. nah, nigga, I'm a real narcissist. So, I ain't got the time to sit and watch uh, no other nigga for three hours. I want to know what they comment on my videos about. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you look at every comment? Nigga, I read every goddamn comment. That's how I'm able to play on the crowd. Mm. Be because the people in the comment, so, so, so you got your fans, you got your haters. And, and then you got your first time watchers. So so I, I normally I normally pay more attention to the first time watchers. The people who's new. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and I pay attention to the audience. So 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 paying attention to the audience, that's just not me looking at the comments. That's looking at what time of the day these motherfuckers get up and watch my video. Right. The, the, what cities is, is so... Nigga, that's why you hear certain cities, I keep their name in my mouth. Why are you always picking on Chicago? Right. Well, my analytical data said this is one of my biggest bases. Mm -hmm. New York, California. So that's why I said Philadelphia. So you got this shit down to a sign. Home, I've been, nigga, I'm studying. See, most people are playing and bullshitting and they feelings, my nigga. I come to execute game. <laughs> I've been talking game the whole time, nigga. G A M E, game related, not game related. Come to execute. Come game. on, come to execute game, homie. Nigga, peep the game. Nigga, peep the play. I come to learn the game. Once I learned that you can make money from this shit, nigga, look at me. I see you just got some new ice. Man, AP, Man, nigga, I nigga, see you just got some new fucking why you, ice. Why you get it bust down? Because I'm ignorant. I'm an ignorant nigga. Doing what the rappers do? No, I'm doing what the rappers do. I always been mimicking the street Man, nigga. Man, that motherfucker. That AP. Listen, this homie. Shit don't make so, no so, sense, so, listen, homie. The rappers, ain't, the rappers ain't been setting the standards. The rappers have always mimicked the street niggas. Mm. The street niggas have always mimicked the fly niggas who didn't have to be street niggas. Yeah. But now we at the point where the, the, the rappers are influencing the up and coming street niggas. Oh, uh, now the, young niggas so influenced. Let me give you let me give you the 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 rappers mimicking the street niggas. The kids mimicking the rappers. Mm. The up and coming street niggas, uh, they 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 mimicking what they see. The up and coming street niggas don't really fuck with the rappers. It's the kids that's mimicking the rappers. Mm -hmm. The up and coming street niggas. Is mimicking the niggas that's in and out of prison. They mimicking the nigga that's in and out of prison. That's why they follow the same path. Right. The kids are the only ones mimicking the rappers because they don't know the rappers aren't are not the real street niggas. The players, homie. The players have always been the niggas with the jewels and rings on their fingers. It wasn't a, it wasn't the rapping niggas. Right. The, the singing and, and the blues and the jazz niggas, they have always mimicked the player niggas in the streets. Right. The pimp type niggas. Them was the niggas who were setting the standards Rich of what niggas want. Yeah, so homie, it, it's just that the rapping niggas, they got the light. They got the light, but nigga, they don't see that fly old nigga that still got the two, three chain in his shirt. He got a ring. That's granddaddy in him, homie. Right. Nigga, the man have always had him a pinky ring, a bracelet. A watch and a necklace. That's always been before the rap music existed. Long before rap music existed, my nigga. Talk. But these niggas didn't have granddaddy to know that. Talk. So nigga, a nigga always wanted them a watch like daddy and granddaddy and them. Nigga always wanted them a bracelet like granddaddy. Uncle Joe and them had them rings on their finger, nigga, with them Cadillacs and them Lincoln. Nigga, we hadn't saw no rappers. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. And, and, and what they called it, see, they called it a rapper's kit. Nigga, they called these two. Nigga got a tool belt, right? Nigga got a tool belt. You go to work. If you ain't got no tools on your tool belt, nigga, you ain't got nothing to work with. Right. So, nigga, how you catch your whole eye? You got your tool belt, but you ain't got no hammer, you ain't got no screw, mm -hmm. you ain't got nothing on your tool belt, but you got a tool belt. So, you got to ask you some tools. So, a nigga walk around, ain't got no pretty car, ain't got no pretty clothes, ain't got no money in his pocket, he ain't got no house, he ain't got no jewelry, he ain't got no tool. How you go catch a bitch? How you gonna get a top-notch woman with no tools? 
He ain't got no tools to work with. So why you think a nigga try to get his credit good to go get that new Cadillac Escalade? He looking for a tool. He putting a tool on his tool belt. Right. Why you think a nigga get a degree? That's another tool on his tool belt. Right. Why you think a nigga go get him a nice hat? That's a tool on his tool belt. He ain't doing that for self. He ain't doing that for his buddies. Nigga, that's to catch a bitch. So nigga, nigga got to get him some tools. <laughs> And the more tools you get, the more <laughs> bitch you catch and the easier it is to catch. Man, that see, shit's so crazy because it's true. <laughs> say, oh, listen, see, a lot of niggas gotta a lot of niggas gotta get the tools because the tools help them catch. See, it's a lot of niggas got a good catching hand, but nigga, they ain't got no good holding hand. They can't uh -huh. hold the bitch. Uh -huh. They can catch the bitch, but they can't keep and hold the bitch. They got good catching hands, but boy, if they take a hit, they go drop the ball. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's a lot of niggas can catch because they got the tools to catch. To but when she meet these niggas, she find out this nigga a sucker, he a mark, all kind of shit. Fart when he sleep. Come on now. Snore too loud. Come on now. Walk bare feet outside. Yeah, man. Don't, yeah. Nigga, don't flush the toilet when he shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all got <kinda> shit. <laughs> so nah, homie, so it's a lot of niggas can catch them, but nigga, they can't keep them. Can't keep them. And then if they can keep them, they can't elevate them. That's a different level, right? Say, oh, there's some niggas every brawl they fuck with, they turn them down. They ain't built down up. <laughs> In no shape, form, or fashion. Every bitch he done fuck with, he done tore them down. Not one have he built up. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's how you know. Yeah. When you, when so, you build them up, it hit different, though. So, that's why I hate the rapping nigga. Because the rapping nigga is the fakest in the phoniest nigga in the village. Because he go get a group of niggas and say what he say to the world. He don't stand by himself and say all this. He, he, he name his hood, where he from. Cause the hood go get behind him cause he rapping from the hood. So he got all this behind him as he grab his dick and talk tough. The to army. That's the army. Come on, homie. So that, they the fraudest nigga, homie. So, so, no, nah, nigga, uh, uh, you ain't seen a rapper yet, nigga, that done done 20 years. Name me one rapper that done 20 years, nigga. Name me one that done, 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 done some real time for a body, and he rapping, gangster. That shit changes when you go in there for that. You come out. It, when you live them type of life, it, it, it changes. It, it's only one of them that didn't change. That was King Von. That's why he ain't here. Mm. Uh, all killers get an opportunity to walk the path of redemption, to redeem themselves. But because because most most of all of God's great men had killed somebody. Yeah, yeah, God it's some God got a special relationship with killers. Or uh, the ones that can be redeemed. It's in the Bible, homie. Uh, but the ones that can't, nigga, they don't get to walk on earth and be evil. Nigga, you look at Ted Bundy. You look at uh, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, homie. You, nigga, they don't get to walk on earth and be evil. Mm. And, if, and, and if they don't have the heart of redemption, nigga, they don't get to die uh, in peace. Damn, well, you be making motherfucker look at shit whole different way. Homie, you're a debt to a life if you took it. If you respond, you owe a debt to a life if you've taken one. So, so nigga, uh, the, the, there's no way, nigga, you, you can, nah, you can't make me believe that. Huh? Mm. Evil get to die in peace. Nigga, John Gotti died fucked up with that council. That would kill the council. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why I thought he had siblings. Nah, that was Al Capone. Al Capone. Al Capone had siblings. Oh, nigga, I told my brother one time, homie, nigga, God ain't gonna never let you out of here if you ain't got no remorse. Even if you, homie, this would make the police so fucked up. Because even though they feel justified for the killing, they seem to never feel bad for it. Mm. And nigga, even if you justify for killing somebody, even in the sake of you defending your own life, you still have to have some level of empathy mm -hmm. 
for taking another human's life. So how you feel about this 10-year-old boy that just killed another 10-year-old boy about a bike race? He, he don't have a brain development to understand what he did. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the human brain does not develop to, to at or around the age 25, homie. So if you ask him why, you, why he did it, it'll take him 15 years to give you a real explanation of why he did it. Right. Uh, ch children are impulsive. Uh, he probably come up in a violent, dangerous uh, uh, situation. Uh, and, 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 and why you would say that? Because he, he had easy access to a gun at 10 years old. Right. Why did he ain't got uh, it? And, and he knew what to do. So he knew, I already knew how to get mad and go get a gun and come out and shoot somebody. But he don't know what he's doing because he just mimicking what he done seen. I bet he done seen a motherfucker do that. Children mimic what they see and repeat what they hear. I bet he's seen a motherfucker get mad and go in a gun and get something and go hurt something because that's the only way he know how to do that. His brain is not developed to, to process, man, I'm finna kill this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And know what come behind. You can't, homie. Not yet. You can't. It's impossible. Uh, we, we are, because we don't understand, uh, homie, just so, something so simple as our kids getting in trouble. And we say, well, man, why you do that? Especially if we mad. And they say, I don't know. You do know. Homie, they don't know. Because without the prefrontal cortex development, you're impulsive. So you do whatever you feel. You do whatever you feel. Uh, that's why children have to be corrected and then taught what's right. Mm. They have to be. They can't just be taught what's right. You got to sit back and watch them. But normally we don't watch kids long enough because we too busy being grown-ups, right? But nigga, you have to correct the kid, then teach them what's right. Don't do that. That's wrong. You don't do that. Stop. This is what you do. You have to correct them. Mm -hmm. Normally, we pop, jump. We try to teach them what's right. We don't right. correct it. Right. So they never learn what they done wrong. Or, or, or why, yeah, and we don't give explanation on why we turn their ass up. Because we normally whooping out of frustration. That's how you teach. Just the same way. How homie, you, you got to correct talk. kids, homie, then teach them. Because naturally, nigga, we naturally... As humans, we don't know to do right yeah. automatically. Right. You have to be taught how to do what's right. So that's why uh, kids are naturally selfish. No, mine. They don't know no, me. and then you see them do something. Did you do that? No. Yeah, you didn't know. Mama, you naturally want to lie. You, nigga, that's the nature of a human is to naturally do wrong, right. not to do right. right. So if you ain't taught it and then you ain't corrected, uh, and it's not consistent, uh, nigga, you fucked up, nigga, by the time you teen. Man, you fucked up by the time you teen. And the mama said that, that the son was just outside for like 15 minutes. Oh, uh, you can't take right. your eyes right. out. You can't take, you got to watch kids 24-7, homie. You cannot, watch, you cannot leave children unattended. Not playing by themselves because, homie, uh, the mind is too, man, that's an undeveloped brain, my nigga. And you're gonna you're gonna trust your kid, nah, huh? Nigga, I keep I nigga, I give yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I, I would never let my daughter and son play uh, right. outside by my. I kept nigga, I'm in the window up, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I kept my. You gotta keep your eyes on kids. Yeah. And a lot of dads are taken away from the home and and and, and leaving the moms there by themselves. So it, it's it's harder because the moms gotta work. Oh well, the mama that the, the mama that's just trying to work. You really can't fault her, uh, especially if, if she's in if she's in, in, in she, she's trying to raise her children uh, in impoverished conditions, right? So uh, she don't have the resources to to, to properly raise a uh, kid. So it takes two it takes two parents, period. But you got another mama, homie, that whole mama, that street mama, that's into the culture. Mm -hmm. Like the mama that had all them little girls popping their little asses to that sexy red song. Yeah. Them Crazy mamas, shit, homie, man. Them mamas is single-handedly uh, destroying us, homie. Because can't nobody tell her nothing once she get her government assistance. And, 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 and she's hurt, and she's bitter, and she's angry. And, and don't let her be the type of little bitch 
that that don't listen to her mama, what? and her and her mama got problems, and she hood, she gangster, she play rap music, she smoke weed, she drink, she like to get fucked, and she popular. That bitch uh, fuck up five generations of babies. The kids, the grandkids, and the great grandkids. I ain't knowing. Uh, no, nah, knowing. Mm. She'll know she wrong. These my kid. Can't nobody eat my baby. And her mama will be trying to tell her something. Girl, don't, don't do that with the kid. These, you can't tell. Uh, the black woman is like the black man in the 90s when he would walk around mad at his dad. Mm. Who they mad at? Oh, uh, no. Nah. They mad at us, and they mad at their mamas. See, this group of girls kind of love their daddies more than they love their mamas. Us boys, we love our mamas more than we love our daddies. So most of their daddies who they really love are sorry men. That's why they despise a nigga that remind them of their daddy. Mm. But they can't find no other man but a nigga like their daddy because that's who they attract. See, women complain about the men. Men ain't shit. Well, you attract who you are. Same for a man. Nigga, don't know, don't know man just pick no woman out of now. It's something in her. It's some traits. It's a spirit in her. It's some traits in, in a spirit in him that are familiar with each other, but the two people aren't. Mm. So she recognized some traits in him, whether it's the father, brother, uncle, he recognized some traits in her, whether it's a mother, baby. So these traits are familiar with each other. They're not. So they're like two magnets. Boom, they meet. Then they become familiar with each other. But nigga, you attract who you are. Mm. So if a woman got a problem with men and all being a problem, then she need to go look in the mirror because she attract these kind of men. So, for example, uh, women who are abused, who, who grew up in an abusive home, tend to attract abusive men. Women who have been sexually molested tend to attract men who would possibly molest their children. Mm -hmm. Whatever's in her attracts, they're attracted. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why you normally hear women keep saying the same story about the same kind of men she keep picking. She, she keep getting dog guys. She keep fucking, girl, goddamn every nigga you get because she attract these kind of men. Same with these niggas. Keep having the same kind of baby mama. He attract these kind of girls. Yeah. Kind of bitch that'll uh, blow up his car, cut his tie. It's, see, you nigga attract them kind of girls. That's yeah. why nigga have yeah. two more than them kind. Guys who don't have one bad experience and will never go back to this kind of girl because he don't attract them kind. So if you look, if you look at your sex partners and, and, and the people you be dating, uh then you can analyze yourself and, and fix what's wrong with you because you attract everything that you think is wrong with them. Never looked at it like that. Never heard nobody put it like that. Nigga, this shit deeper, homie. Oh, uh, everything is a homie. Oh, uh, that's homie. One person can come in here and ruin all our moves, and nigga, we'll reflect what he just brought to us. On our face in the body language. Yeah, nigga, same with your girl. Nigga, your, your, whatever moves your girl got in the house, it's going to reflect off on you. You're going to reflect it back. Mess up your so, whole day. So that's why they say happy happy wife, happy, happy life. life. Bullshit. Happy, yeah, happy spouses, happy houses. I got to be happy too, bitch. <laughs> but, but because, because you are an emotional creature. So your emotions is going to do this all day. It might stop on this floor. Shoot up to this one, come back down to this one. Your your, your whole day is based on an, 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 an elevator of emotions all throughout the day. So a woman is not governed by what's right or wrong. She's governed by what she feels. Don't let her come to work and she gonna let everybody know. No, I'm not having. I don't feel like doing. Let her have a. So she's not governed by what's right. Mm -hmm. So she have to have morals and and and, and, and values. Uh. To, to go against what she feels. 
know when to be quiet because this ain't the time for her to speak up. Homie, it, 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 that take training. And, and nigga, who done trained these girls for that? That's why, that's why they don't have the strength to be quiet. Mm. Man, they don't know silence is a motherfucker. The black woman don't know silence is power. What you mean? Oh. Uh, How silence is power? Oh. Uh, you ever done something wrong and she ain't said nothing? Yeah. And you trying to, you doing all, you kissing her ass, you doing everything. Boy, you, do, boy you kissing her ass, you doing everything. You, yeah. yeah, nigga, and you, and yo, you in the nerve wrecking because she ain't saying what she feel. Right. Nigga, she got all the power in the world when she got you in that position. Right. You a damn near tell on yourself. You a damn near confess just to hear her say so. Wondering what she thinking and what she know. And nigga, she ain't got nigga not knowing her silence. Oh, uh, if we was in a room full of women right now, homie, and all the women talking, the silent woman would have our attention before it all uh, For sure. For sure. No matter how she look, we, even if she ugly, even we look she at ugly, her, look, look, she Just ugly. the fact that she's been but, silent. Yeah, it means something special about her. It yeah. makes us think like that. Her words will have way more weight. Mm -hmm. Oh, but they but they don't understand it, homie, because we're not being trained as men, and they're not being trained as women. And each one of us is standing on the opposite side of the field, hollering, saying, well, y'all need to be better women. Shit, I'm telling me y'all ain't nothing like that. And they hollering, y'all need to be better men. Mm -hmm. And ain't none of us looking at each other saying, say, nigga, we need to be better men. Ain't none of them looking at each other saying, yeah, yo, we need to be better women. We need to try to do better with each other. And so, nigga, we hollering across the field yeah, like we can tell him and they can tell us. And ain't none of us looking at each other holding the group, uh, the, yeah, the group accountable. So that's why I say, man, them all full of shit, too. It ain't just the nigga. They full of shit, too. Because they, they, they so bitter and angry, they want to become us in their actions. If we cheat, they want to match our cheating. How many women have never thought like that? They think that liberates them. To be able to do what a man do, or do it better, or do it more. Mm -hmm. They think that elevates them. Oh, they don't know that's the stupidest shit in the world for a woman to even think. That's a girl. That's a bitch thought. That's why a nigga still hollering, bitch, bitch, bitch. Because right. how, that's how these bitches is thinking. Women don't think like that. You heard a woman, homie, she wants to be dignified. She gets you back by, ain't nobody getting in this pussy. Ain't nobody doing, I'm going to be so focused on, that's how a woman get her leg back. Yeah. Nigga making it hard for a nigga. Not these women nowadays. Because these ain't women, these little these bitches, nigga. These are hurt little bitches. Right. These is bitches. They get you back, oh, they fuck every nigga you yeah, with sugar man. man. But, but that ain't they get back, homie. That's they suppressed desires anyway. Ooh, that's what they, they, they is anyway. Come on, homie. They've been, they been playing in their little pussy with them phones since they was in fifth grade, too. They've been, they been letting that water drop off the faucet in the bathtub, letting that pussy splatter with the water coming down real hard, playing. Just like the little boy used to do. Let that the mama hit that dick and be in the water. This dick hard mama up there, nigga jump. Ma'am, what get your ass out there by too? Yeah, come on now. Them little they did the same thing, so don't make it think they ain't perverted too, nigga. Yeah. Shit, nigga, they don't sneak and fuck some of their daddy friends. They some of their brothers. They come on, my nigga, don't play like this. Come on now. Man, they so good they at They low down too. They so good at having They low down too. too. They got nigga food to make us think they don't even do it. Come on, homie, the woman is an incubator for STDs. How you think they spread? Mm. It ain't the man that's spreading them. The man is the carrier. The bitch is letting everybody fuck. The bitch is. See, she don't realize for a man to come into your body, he's getting a part of your soul. So, bitch, you giving your soul away. To a, either a demon, a pervert. So whatever man you lay down with, mm -hmm. y'all exchange energies, meaning spirits. So just say he a perverted nigga. That perverted spirit go home to you and your son and your daughter. Mm -hmm. 
While you're in that shower, in that perverted spirit, slur, don't sit somewhere in the house. Mm -hmm. When you go on now, that perverted spirit hovering over your soul with his phone. Because you've been fucking with this nigga that's perverting you. Now you got this hoe coming over here who suck pussy. Now this gay spirit on top of this perverse spirit, they fighting over your kids. Because you done brought these into the home by way of your pussy. Because you let a man enter into your body. See, our dicks go out. Theirs go in. So we enter into a woman's body, homie. So that's why sex kind of torments a woman. That's why it's, it's an emotional attachment because you are going inside of her body. She's not coming inside of out. Some kind of way these niggas, some kind, some kind of way these niggas done got tricked to let the woman go inside their body. Some. <laughs> You're not supposed to <laughs> enter inside of a man's body. Right. You should enter into a woman's body. That's the design. So how you gonna go against the design? How you gonna say the transmission gonna be the motor and the motor gonna be the transmission and the car gonna run? You can't go against the design. Okay. That's why I hit different for them. Come on, homie. That's why I be pull up busting homie, listen, the car. Listen, listen, homie, listen. Be, be, it, 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 if, you, if you into the spiritual shit, right? The woman is cursed. It's nothing that she can do. She's trying to outdo the man with a curse on her. Because the woman is the woman is the one who got man to follow from God. God and man used to be buddy buddy. They were partners every day. Never throughout any biblical book do God talk to the woman. Talk free to God ain't never spoke to a woman. Oh, shit. You can read every goddamn Bible, Quran. God has never spoke to a woman in the existence of humans. It's always the man that got to go to the God. God the woman ain't, ain't never woman. spoke to a God ain't never spoke to a woman, homie. Never. You can read the text. He can't trust her. Oh. <laughs> nah, nah, he can't trust. Listen, because, nah, he can't because, trust. because listen, homie, listen, listen to me. She heard the devil. She didn't hear God. God spoke to the man, and the serpent spoke to the woman. Think about this. God never spoke to her. The devil did. He, she hear more from the devil than we do. Because she's tormented by him because she whispered to the man. The devil couldn't talk to the man. God. Only God could. God. But the woman could talk to the man. But come on now. Oh, man. Come on, my nigga. She get to talk to the devil. Before we do. Man, don't let man. I, I don't want to preach, man. I don't want. Let me go back to being. No, preacher. you dropping yeah, jewels. Ain't no, ain't no. Yeah, this what our people need to know. <laughs> our people need to hear that type of stuff so it can spark what what's really in us. Fuck them, <laughs> <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm held accountable for what I know. Yeah, yeah. That's all, nigga. If I go to teaching this shit, I gotta keep teaching this shit. I don't want to get open. I'll right. be open a can of worm, huh? Right. But only listen to me. The devil have always used the woman. Always. Have always. It ain't never been nothing other than the woman that's been his primary access to get the man to fall from God. That's why your woman very seldom encourages you. Baby, you can do it! Like mama, let you be running in last place and lose every weight. Your mama goes, I'm tired of that little fat ass mother need to lose some weight. Right. Your mama go jump up every time and say, baby, you can do it. Baby, and she know you can't win. But your mom, why you think your Because the, the mother will go to God for her son. Mm. She won't go for it for a man. That's why. Nigga, I ain't read this, nigga. I just I just can interpret this shit. That's why when Job, nigga, when Job, when God and the devil made, made a bet in the agreement, mm -hmm. I bet I can get him to cuss you. Right. And God said, you can do everything to that motherfucker except kill him. Right. Nigga, who you think was telling Job to cuss God? It wasn't the devil. It was the woman. It was his woman. 
Why don't you just curse God and die so this shit can stop, nigga? We done lost the cows. The bank account empty. Oh, we done lost the house. We done kid bottle had two miscarriages. Nigga, the car done been repo. Nigga, see, I'm going back. Why don't you just curse God and die? Nigga, I'm leaving. Nigga, that nigga said, bitch, fuck you. You gone. Nigga, all throughout history, nigga, the devil have always went to the woman to get man from God. So think about this. So a woman who wants to be like the man, nigga, she, she walks with Satan daily. That's how she seduces the man. Her ass out, her titties out, that's a demon. Nigga, when you look on that Explorer page, and you see how bad them bitches is, those are humans with demon possession. They get me every time. Nigga, them bitches be too goddamn Man, do you know that shit get me them every time? Them bitches be too beautiful, homie. Them ain't angry. Man, that shit get me listen every me, fucking listen time I go down the rabbit hole. Listen, listen to me, them ain't angels. Those are, those are humans with demons, nigga. That's why they so beautiful. Homie, listen, when you go to the hospital, and boy, you see that pretty motherfucking nurse, and she gorgeous. Nigga, that's an angel. Look how it's dressed. When you see a woman, nigga, and she got her motherfucking ass. That booty like you said. Nigga, you mean. can see that pussy, and she and everything is about seduction. That's a demon. Ooh. But it's beautiful because you have to realize, nigga, Lucifer was beautiful mm -hmm. before he became a demon. He was gorgeous, huh? The most beautiful angel. Nigga, he had all this. Why you think we replicate this? We want to look like Lucifer. He was draped in diamonds and rubies and gold. And nigga, when he opened his mouth, nigga, he sung better than Whitney Houston. Sound like trumpets was playing. Mm -hmm. And he was over music. So when he left heaven, you think he didn't take music? That's why, that's why the church spent a lot of time in the musical department for praise and worship. That energy activates God, just like it activates the devil. Nigga, that's why you can see our kids down there popping their backs. Those are demon, demon-filled babies that can mimic the sexual actions of the adult demons. So that's where Solomon and Gomorrah, homie, the, the, the angels and the demons was fucking each other. The, the grown demons was fucking the baby demons. Boy was kissing boy. Mama was fucking son. Uh, nigga, that's why God's man, let me destroy this shit. That's where we at now, nigga. That's what we but that's if you believe that shit, man. Let me go get my motherfucker up, bro. Yeah, that's if you believe that shit. Man, goddamn, man. You didn't, you didn't goddamn wrap me up, man. Let, we, we finna go somewhere. Let's go out here to uh, what's it called? I ain't gonna say the name right now. Nigga, let's go hang with them demons. Let's go somewhere. Let's, let's go, go see them demon hole with that pussy out and that ass. We, we finna let's go, go knock on. Let's go knock on hell's door. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Friday night anyway, nigga. Damn so good, Let's go man. dance with the motherfucking devil and see that motherfucking booty meat. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah! Say, one day I'm going to start preaching. And the name of my church going to be Save a Hoes Baptist Church. What? Save a Because we saving hoes at this motherfucking church. Nigga, them hoes paying time. With a cape on. And we going to be fucking. We ain't, we gonna be we going to be fucking the willing, not the unwilling. Willie K. Bone. Oh, uh, the new challenges are a uh, uh, nigga make it rain on the waitress. I don't give a damn if it's at Denny's. Make it rain on the waitress. Start tipping these waitress. Them little old girls just working hard. And if they got on a pair of nice jeans with them big butts, tip them, tip them like you tip them hoes on them poles. Nigga, quit being stingy with them waitresses. Especially the ones that them booty joint. Tip them little girls, nigga. Quit trying to always tip the pussy meat. Yeah, tip them little girls just struggling and striving, uh, trying to get a few bills and catch one of them hot dollar tricks on the side in the name of waitresses. Yeah, 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 because they horn too. Yeah, 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 they want you to think they them whole horn too. Yeah, they trying to catch a trick in the name of waitresses. I, I know, they can't fool me. Yeah, yeah, they can't fool me. I know, shit. I'm a, I'm a motherfucking connoisseur about this shit. Here, man. I'm not bullshit. Yeah, you see that Jackson State, boy? Yeah, yeah, we repping that Jackson State, man. This, I'm, shit, nigga, I'm talking about this Jackson State. Oh, how you hey, doing, man? I'm sorry. I know I'm going to act like this. It's just the camera is on. <laughs> Just ma'am, it's just the camera that's on. I normally don't act like this. I'm showing out for the camera. Hold on, hold on. 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 H
a vision board party. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Necessary Smoke Podcast YouTube. Uh, say we represent that Jackson State University around this motherfucker, man. Just, yeah, you see? Yeah, every time I come to Atlanta, boy, I give me a bad ass jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. We feel, yeah, we feel. I'm finna let him go so we can go.